empowering modularity and simplicity to the next level, Saika India has participated at Imtex 2023 Metal Cutting Edition. And here we are present with the director of the company, Mr. Hirin Sanghavi. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm also fine, sir. So, Saika India is into the manufacturing of aluminium profiles and conveyor components. So, sir, could you please brief us more about your company? So, Saika India is basically a 100% Indian company. We manufacture all the components in India, our in house design team for doing all these components, and we believe in modularity. It's a 2007. We started this company in 2007, and today we have reached 50 crore turnover in 13 years. That is absolutely amazing. So, supporting the Make in India campaign of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, Sika India has been contributing a lot towards the economy of our country. So, thank you so much for doing that. It's because of manufacturers like you that today our India stands very nicely in the global market. So, speaking about the Imtex exhibition, we have seen that this is the biggest show in the machine tool sector and there has been a lot of customers at their booths. We have seen the experts being, you know, packed up with the visitors all day long and today is the fifth day. So, how overwhelmed are you with the response? Uh, Imtex is evergreen. For the South Market, I think it's the best exhibition which I have ever seen. A huge amount of crowd is always I have seen and this Imtex is could be slightly better. The reason being after 2019, after four years, the exhibition has come back. Lot of changes after COVID, lot of robots have entered, lot of industry growth have happened, lot of new developments have happened. So people are also eager to come back again and join the exhibition. That is absolutely true. After the COVID, we have seen how the scenario has changed in the Indian manufacturing industry. We have seen how industry 4.0 has become kind of a trend in the whole manufacturing industry. So since you work so close to this industry, according to you, how well do you think the manufacturers have been adapting to these changes? I feel there are a lot of options now for Indian manufacturer because China import is really becoming slightly difficult. Other than that, if you really say that there are other countries also facing a still huge amount of problem for COVID. Lot of import uh, rules have changed, lot of export rules have changed. Manufacturing in India is becoming very, very strong. The market is growing on a new crazy level. So if you have a quality, a consistency in your product, I'm sure it's a very good market for India. That is absolutely amazing. So uh, lastly, I would like to ask you, we have seen that there are a lot many college students as well who has come in the last two days and have explored all the exhibitions. So since they are the future of our manufacturing industry, what kind of enthusiasm have you seen in them regarding the innovations that has been happening every day? Colleges or schools promoting people or students coming in the exhibition is a big step. Once they have a look at what is happening in the industry, probably they will apply their brains and take this innovation of further ahead. So which this, uh, this is a really great move which is happening. That is really nice and we have seen that education system has been coming up with a lot more training programs for these engineers as well. So what are your thoughts regarding that? The train, India was thought to be a uh, people who used to copy the product and move ahead. But things have changed. With this last four years, people have started thinking or innovation of that new product. This will be a new India in the coming 10 years. That is absolutely right and very insightful. Thank you so much, sir, for interacting with us and giving us such insightful thoughts about the manufacturing industry. And we wish you all the very best for Imtex as well as for the company's future endeavors. Thanks. Thank you so much.